Criticism and judgment puts you at odds with people. Sharon Horn Nelson here. Welcome to day 1603 of What You Have To Know. Documenting the journey as I personally transitioned, the business journey mostly, but other things as well, from the brick and mortar corporate world of business to the online world of business. I spent over 25 plus years in corporate America while simultaneously running 27 different businesses in different industries. And so I've got a lot of my fingers in a lot of pies, had my fingers in a lot of pies, and then following my divorce, decided I was gonna explore the online world. The internet grew up and came into being as I was growing up in business. And so when I was in corporate America, I didn't really have any access to, or much access to uh, the internet. The internet was in its infancy when I was just leaving corporate America. So I decided after my divorce, hey, I'm old, I could retire, but I don't really want to retire. I still have a ton of energy. What am I going to do? So I decided I would explore online, internet businesses, internet world, how it all works, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And I experienced a lot of, so far, the good, the bad, and the ugly, right? I've had some things that have flopped and failed miserably. I've gone down some roads in past that I definitely shouldn't have gone down following shiny object syndrome. It's interesting that terminology and the things I learned coming online that I never even heard of or felt in the offline world. I never felt FOMO, fear of missing out. I never felt like I was following shiny object syndrome. Mainly in the offline world and in corporate America, didn't have any time or energy to follow different ideas down down the wrong path. If we're going down the wrong path, pretty quickly you needed to make a course correction and get back on track because you were responsible and accountable to yourself or to someone else and it was your money or your life on the line more than online. The barrier to entry, the cost of doing things and trying different things is relatively low so it's easy to get pulled down different paths of learning, things that you really don't even need to learn until you know you're a couple years into your business. You know, it's so learned a lot. Today for, I do two pieces of content every day. One is for my Super Size Your Business Female Entrepreneurs group. And in that group, I do an idiom every day. What does it mean? Where does it come from? And how can you use it to build and grow your business? And today's idiom, relationship related idiom to coincide with the annual challenge that I'm doing this year to uh, do something every day that improves us. We're focusing on relationship well-being for the month of June. And today's idiom was at odds with someone. And I contend that for our businesses to grow and supersize our businesses, we want to be at odds with someone. Why? We want to create a polarity or a way to stand out in our industry for our business to get attention, to be noticed by other people. And we want to help to identify for people who are we for and who are we not for. Not who are we for and against to being at odds with someone, but who are we for and then our products and services, who are they not for? Because we don't want to spend time and money and energy attracting people that we're not best suited to serve. And in each of our industries, in each of our businesses, there is a group of people that we are absolutely positively 100% here to make their lives better, make the world a better place for them. And the rest of the people, not so much, right? I think of the products and services I've offered over time, and they are for a very specific group of people. My Super Size Your Business group is for female entrepreneurs and business women who are at the point they've, they've already gone through the startup phase and deciding that they're gonna have a business, and they're at some level of their growth, and super, but they wanna have a great business that impacts the world. They just are at different stages of that, but I'm not dealing with new startup businesses that are just getting going in the world. Been there, done that, done a lot of that personally, and could work with that group of people, but I also know that they have a whole different set of problems and challenges than the women that I work with that are already established and wanting to grow. And there's different strategies that you use to grow and build and supersize your business than to start up and decide to take that leap of faith to, to even get involved in a business on your own. Uh, our relationship topic today was criticism and judgment. Very good topic. It's got lots of experience with both of them, both me doing the judging and criticizing because I'm human like the rest of us, as well as being judged and criticized for some things I can control and some things I can't control. So we talked about 10 ways to deal with criticism and then we talked about 10 ways to be less judgmental because I contend that each and every one of us, we don't really even have a right to judge. Who are we to judge other people's choices, other people's beliefs, other people's opinions? 
we each get to have our own so who are we to judge and I've learned over decades of experience that if we focus on people's strengths and positive attributes and the things we love about them we can get along with just about anybody and I have a bunch of stories about that about bosses all of us have had that terrible boss or that boss or that person in our life that just can't stand us yet we're in a situation where we need to make the relationship work and early on in my corporate career I learned that if I just focused on the things I loved about that boss and what their strengths were and the, what they were good at it didn't matter it, it mattered but it didn't really matter how they treated me and whether they liked me or not I could work with them effectively in that environment and, and it's really interesting the person I'm talking about I actually met about a decade later when she had moved on to a different part of the company we both worked for originally and I was working for one of their suppliers as their vice president of quality and we got along great it was like we never never had been at odds so it was really funny um, what happens over time is we all grow up and mature right so we talked about that we shared the lifeline exercise today and we are adding relationships to our lifeline exercise if you don't know what that is just ask in the comments below but it's a great exercise and I'm doing something really fun today I got a post-it note and I already started it because I I did one criticism uh, and I'm just gonna tally on this post-it note today how many times I catch myself being critical or judgmental of myself or someone else and I'm gonna tally that on here I, I opened my computer and I, the first thing I did was judge one of the comments that was on there so I'm like yep there we go already started because we're human we judge other people we question things and sometimes it's like well who am I to judge people can say on social media whatever they want and it I don't have to it doesn't have to affect me I can just scroll right on by so those are our pieces of content today I'm getting ready for my my kids are going to Alaska again this year and so I get granddaughter duty so I'm prepping and getting ready and helping them pack and, and preparing for that as well as the other things I've got going on I'm helping a coach launch a new coaching business so that's always fun and exciting in the real estate niche so today we're gonna work on what what is your hook what's your story what's your offer what it makes you different in the real estate market than all the other thousands of other real estate coaches because you need to figure out how you're going to create polarity and stand out and get attention from all the other real estate coaches so it's always fun to do if I can help you anyway if you have any questions hit me up otherwise I will be with you tomorrow just to fill you in on what's going on in in uh, the online and offline world of business have an awesome day